Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today, I have week 5 of my championship score prediction. So if you don't know how this series works, let me briefly explain how it all goes down. So in this series guys, what I do each week is I give my championship score predictions for what I think the individual results will be in each match. FIFA 16 also makes their predictions for what they think the scores will be. But what I'm really interested in is what you guys have to say. So, so down in the description down below guys, I will leave all the fixtures that are taking place this week. And I want you to make your predictions. And if you do get managed to get any of them right, I will include your comment in my next video. So it feels like football's been gone for absolutely ages now with the international break, but I'm so glad that's all over, and I'm so glad we're getting some championship football back this weekend, guys. I'm also say, also say as well, apologies I've not been uploading as frequently lately, and especially this week. The reason is for that that I've just gone to college, so obviously I've been a bit hectic with my schedule lately, but I've got quite a few videos coming up in the next couple of days, guys, so stay tuned for that. So the first game we have this weekend, guys, is Reading against Ipswich. So I'm fancying these two teams to be quite similar this season really. I think both will finish in a similar region of the table and for that reason I'm thinking these two teams could cancel each other out. I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1. A score draw between these two teams. I'm expecting the, for Reading to dominate most of the possession however FIFA has said it's going to be a nil-nil. Into the next match we then have is Brighton against Brentford. Now Brighton had hit a bit of a rocky spell before the international break really. They started the season fantastically however since then they had a bit of a down patch but uh, in this one I do actually fancy Brighton to bounce back from that. It's difficult to engage really how teams will do after an international break, whether they'll have worked on a lot of stuff to improve or that they might have gone down a bit in quality, but I'm fancying Brighton to win this one. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-1 win to Brighton. As much as I've been impressed with Brentford this season, however, FIFA has predicted a 1-0 Brentford win. To the next match we then go to is Fulham against Birmingham. So for Fulham against Birmingham, this one as well, quite a difficult one to predict, I'd say. So two similarly matched teams, of course, Fulham have had an excellent start to this season. So I wouldn't put it past Fulham if they were going to win this match as well, because I think they've been one of the surprise packages so far this season. However, I'm going to go against that for this one. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm fancying Birmingham for this one, so I'm going to fancy a 2-1 win to Birmingham. Obviously, that's a bit of an upset I'm predicting there, but if Fulham were to get something or even win this match, I wouldn't be surprised at all. However, FIFA has said another 0-0. To the next match we then have is Leeds against Huddersfield. So we all know it's been well documented so far. The start that Huddersfield have had to the season has been absolutely sublime. So for that reason, I am going to say it's going to be a Huddersfield win. I mean, how can you not bet? How can you bet against Huddersfield at this point in time? It's just impossible to do so. I do think Leeds will make it difficult for them though, so for this one I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-0 Huddersfield win. I think it'll be a slim margin in this match. I think Leeds will be looking to be quite tight under Gary Monk, but uh, FIFA's actually predicted the opposite to my scoreline. They've predicted a 1-0 win to Leeds. Going into the next match then guys, we have Norwich going up against Cardiff. So obviously Cardiff will be looking to utilise Ricky Lambert and look to get the best out of him really after a couple of dry seasons for him, but uh, for this one I am going to fancy Norwich for this one as well. I think Norwich being the home side, I think they'll be more, probably more favourable than Cardiff. Ricky Lambert, I think, will take a bit of time to settle in to this side. And it's been, you know, it's been seen so far that Cardiff have struggled to score goals this season. So I do see this one being quite a low scorer if I'm being honest. So for this one, I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-0 win to Norwich. I think they'll just clench it. However, FIFA has said it's going to be a 0-0. To the next match we then have is my team, Preston North End, going up against Barnsley. So, Barnsley have been one of the teams so far this season which I've been very impressed with. A team that I tipped to struggle this year. However, so far, they've done nothing of the sorts. They've been fantastic so far this season. Preston have been it's a really difficult one to predict, I think, with Preston at this point in time. When we turn up and we play to our best, we're a fantastic team on our day. However, so far this season, we've shown inconsistencies and individual errors really haven't helped us out so far this season. And that's why we are in the place we are at the moment. But for this one, I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1. I fancy Preston to get a point from this match. Don't know why, but I'm fancying us to get something from this one. Going up at the start of the season, you know, this is the sort of match which I'd expect Preston to win. No offence to Barnsley, but obviously with them being a newly promoted team. However, going into this match, Barnsley are probably the favourites which is not what I thought I'd be saying at the start of the season. However, FIFA's predicted they've gone along with that and they actually predicted they won the away win to Barnsley. QPR is our next one and they are at home to Blackburn Rovers. So Blackburn Rovers really haven't got off to the best start of the season under Owen Cole. His job already put him under a bit of pressure re recently and understandably so with the start they've had to this season. But I do actually fancy them to go away to QPR and get something. I don't think they'll get the win. However, I am going to say it's going to be a 1-1. QPR lately haven't been the best. I know the last result they did get the win, but in that match, match they didn't perform the best and their recent two results before that were both losses so not in the best of form at, the, at this point in time QPR so for that reason I do actually fancy 
expected Blackburn to get something. Blackburn have shown a steady improvement since the start of the season, so I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1. I wouldn't be surprised if QPR got this one, though, and I I'd be surprised if Blackburn got the result here. I'd say that, but uh, FIFA's actually predicted a 2-0 win to QPR, so I'll be interested to know what you guys think of this one. Going up to our next match then, guys, we have Rotherham coming up against Bristol City. So, for this one, Rotherham haven't really got off to the best start either. Bristol City have been doing well, however, they just have lost their main target man in Jonathan Kodja. However, saying that, he was yet to score for them this season, so really, he shouldn't be too much of a blow in the short term. So, for that reason, I'm going to say Bristol City should be winning this one. I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-0 win to Bristol City in this one. I mean, with the form that Tammy Abraham's on, and then you've got players like Lee Tomlin in behind him, you've got other midfield, other creativity coming from that midfield. I think Bristol City just should just edge this one, so I'm going to say it's going to be a 2-0 win to Bristol City. FIFA said it's going to be a 1-1, so I think Rotherham, I'm not sure what Rotherham will be expecting from this match, really. The next thing we then have is Sheffield Wednesday going up against Wigan Athletic. So, for this one, Sheffield Wednesday really haven't got off to their best start this season either. One of the teams which has been tipped for promotion, they've not really shown what what they can do so far this season. However, they'll be hoping that new signing Adam Reach will be able to make an instant impact on his debut and to do what he's been brought in to do and create and score goals, really. So I'm going to say Sheffield Wednesday are going to get this one. I think Wigan, I'm not sure. I think Sheffield Wednesday should just edge this one, really. I'm going to say two goals are going to be scored. So I'm going to say it's going to be a 2 0 win to Sheffield Wednesday. I mean, with all the attacking intent that Wednesday have in their side, they really should be showing it by now. And I think possibly after they've had an international break, maybe a couple of players, a couple of new players have had a bit more time to integrate into the side, they should be getting better performances than the, what they've shown throughout the start of this season. So I'm going to say Sheffield Wednesday are going to get this one 2-0. However, FIFA's predicted the opposite scoreline to that. They said it's going to be a 2-0 win to Wigan. The next match is actually a really hard one to predict in my opinion. We have Wolves going up against Burton Albion. So Burton have been a team which really it's hard to predict because you never really know what to expect. I mean, at the start of the season, everyone would have been predicting pretty much for Burton to lose every match, but that's not been the case so far. Under Nigel Clough, they've been incredibly organised, and they look good going forward as well, I must say that. You know, they're able to hit teams on the counter-attack with players like Diet, and then players in the midfield like Irvine really have helped out this season. However, saying that, another team which I've been impressed with so far this season has been Wolves. I think they've started excellently to this season, and I really like what where Walter Zenger's guiding this Wolves side. So, for that reason, I'm going to say Wolves are just about going to edge this one 1-0. I think it'll be a tough game for Wolves, however, FIFA's actually predicted exactly the same scoreline as me, so both myself and FIFA are predicting 1-0 Winter Wolves. Then to the evening kickoff on Saturday, we have Derby County going up against Newcastle United. So, Newcastle have been in a fantastic, rich vein of form at the moment, and Derby County really are yet to get going, but... Uh, Derby County's goal scoring issues has been their big problem this season and I'm not going to disagree with that for this match actually. I think this will be a low scoring match. The reason I say that is because a lot of the evening kickoffs so far this season, especially in the championship, have been very low scorers. And I'm not going to disagree with that trend for this one. So I'm actually going to say Derby versus Newcastle is going to end in a stalemate at a nil-nil. I don't fancy any of, the, any of these sides to score, even with all the attacking intent that especially Newcastle possess. But uh, New FIFA's actually predicted that Newcastle are just about going to edge this one by a 1-0 goal margin. To the last match we then have is Aston Villa going up against Nottingham Forest. So this match is being played on the Sunday and for this one it's a difficult one to predict. One signing that I've been astounded by really has been Nicholas Bentner going to Nottingham Forest. I mean Nottingham Forest fans what do you think of this signing? Let me know in the comments down below. It's an absolutely I can't believe it. He was on a free transfer. He'd just been released from Wolfsburg so it's understandable. I mean they did need a striker to come in in my opinion because Brutus Sombolonga is a bit hit and miss when it comes to his injury record. However is Nicholas Bentner the right guy for the job. I don't really know to be honest. I mean, it's going to be funny. It's going to be interesting at least to see how he integrates into life in the championship. But for this game itself, I'm going to say it's going to finish as a 1 1. I fancy these two teams to both get points. I say the favourite going into this match probably is going to be Aston Villa. But uh, FIFA's also agreed with me on this match as well. So two matches this week, which me, myself, and FIFA have agreed with. So now, guys, I will now wrap it up for this video. So thank you so much for watching this week's episode of my championship score predictions, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do leave a like. It is always massively appreciated as well as that make sure you check out all the links in the description down below make sure you get your comments in for, the, for your score predictions this week i'm always very interested to see what you guys have to say but apart from that guys make sure you subscribe for regular championship content and i'll see you all in the next one